Hi guys. Well, it is now a balmy 19 degrees and falling here. Uh, <laughs> here in the end times, uh, as I'm going completely fucking bonkers uh, here in the tiny house. Uh, it is a Sunday night. It is November 20th, uh, 2022. So anyway, I did this uh, long-winded rant today about why I will never set foot back in the great state of Hawaii. And uh, so anyway, I put that out there. I was sending that out to my buddy Fat Boy uh, mainly, but I am thrilled to see that uh, two old friends showed up in the comment section. I got to hear from my dear friend, Leela Bear. Uh, Leela Bear, I, I think I was the first person that uh, Leela Bear lived with once she got back from Hawaii. Is that true, Leela? I I anyway, uh, so it was nice to hear that Leela Bear I have not heard from Leela in a couple of years. I guess she's living on the in the Pacific Northwest now. But besides Leela Bear, I also heard from uh, this Doomer chick that I have never met before. Damn it. Come on. Uh, well, shit. Y you know, I get so sick of this computer. Uh... Now, now what do I do? I have to go here and uh, find this comment all over again uh, by my old friend Autumn Oceans. Uh, if I can get through all of the uh, 500 comments from... Uh, from Colony of Cells, but Autumn Oceans is this Doomer chick that I've, I've actually had a crush on Autumn. I don't I don't know if if Autumn uh, realizes uh, that I have been hot for her for years, but she disappeared a couple of years ago, and I thought that we had lost her to the Corona panic, but here she is. Autumn Oceans, my old heartthrob, my old secret heartthrob, Doomer Chick. Uh, and she has this comment. Back in 92, Hawaii was probably about 80% Hawaiians. Now it's a lot less. But now it's way too expensive to live there, especially if or when gas goes up to over $10 and all the islands are way too populated to be sustainable. So anyway, it had been a it had been a while since uh, I had checked in with Autumn Oceans. <laughs> so I went over to her website, and I'm assuming uh, this is okay with, with Autumn. I see uh, she has twenty eight thousand views. Uh, this was autumn uh 10 years ago and this is autumn uh when she was living on the big island of hawaii i never made it to the big island of hawaii and after listening to this video i never will uh so this is one more reason we're gonna let autumn oceans explain to give us one more reason never to move <laughs> Never to move to Hawaii, and I guess this means the Big Island or any of the others. Take it away, Autumn, and tell us about the worms in your brain. I actually have worms living in my brain. <laughs> um, not many people know about rat lung because it's pretty much a tropical disease it originates I guess from Asia and I'm assuming now that that's why they don't eat raw lettuce in Asia because of the rat lung. I knew about it when I moved here to Hawaii but I always thought that just washing and rinsing and soaking your lettuce would be enough 
but I'm learning now that it's not. And talking to other people, realizing that it, it doesn't get the little parasites off the leaves because what happens is they stick. And they're very, very tiny. Um, you can barely even see them. They're so small. I've heard some are even transparent and you can't even see them at all. I, I bought this lettuce uh, called arugula from uh, the, the organic um, natural, it's called or, Island Naturals Organics. And um, I went there and I bought a, a, a bag. Of course, it was grown here on the big island, a bag of um, arugula. And I brought it home. I put half of it in a bowl. I rinsed it. I put more water in. I soaked it. I drained off the water, which is probably one, my mistake. What I should have done is I should have picked every leaf up, even though they're little tiny leaves, and inspected every single one of them. But, you know, I won't even eat lettuce from here now that this has happened to me. I don't blame but you. But anyway, <laughs> I wouldn't what happened either. was I drained the water off. I guess the little tiny slug part of it, because they're really delicate and they, they um, tear apart really easy. So part, I guess part of it tore off. And when I was done eating my salad, I looked at the bottom and there was one little leaf with a li half a little tiny baby slug on it, stuck on, on the leaf and part of it was missing. And I'm assuming that's the part that I, I probably ate. I'm assuming um, you're assuming correctly, I've girl. I've been doing all the research I can on it. And um, I, I'm hoping to get, get through the next couple of weeks without any complications. Um, what happened was, the day after, the next day, I got diarrhea for two days, and ever since then, I've been having um, pressure. Like it feels like on my head, like someone's pushing, like this, and it comes and goes. And it's not so bad. Like it doesn't really hurt right now. Um, every once in a while, it will hurt a little, but then it it let it eases up. It's it's not a constant pressure. It's Pressure and then it eases and then pressure and it eases. It, I've been. It sounds kind of like the worm, the vitamin C, the spiders uh, in my dick um, from Costa Rica when stuff, those, uh, when that spider laid wood, those eggs in my uh, dick acid, down there um, in Costa Rica. You know, stuff that, that you know, promotes, it was kind of uh, on again and off again. Antioxidant your body makes. So, um, <laughs> garlic and just. Everything I can, I can, you know, think of or that I researched that it, it's supposed to help. Um, I heard somebody did a intravenous um, vitamin C, which helped her. I, I read a blog, but um, I need. I pro if this doesn't An go away, I probably need to find a vitamin C to help me do that. Um, I'm hoping it, it doesn't get worse. I, I could actually die. People have died from this. You get meningitis. Um, I'll probably meningitis is what it. killed my brother with the age. Should all be gone. Should all be dead in another couple weeks is what they say. It takes usually about one to, to three weeks is what they say, but it can take up to like four or five weeks. And some people that that have been infected have symptoms even years later. I don't understand. I guess. They, maybe the worms don't die. I don't. It's called long worms. Still have symptoms. Um, and kind of like long COVID, long worms. They say that the worms don't really mature. They do die, but other things say that some people still have symptoms even like long, long after. I guess there's just not that much research on it, um, you know. But I, I'll tell you something. I'm never going to eat lettuce grown on this island again and I'm never going <laughs> to juice any I, I don't blame you again because again like I said it doesn't matter even if you soak wash wash again and soak and, and you know it, because they stick they're, they're really tiny and they stick to the leaves you know unless you could like scrape and scrub every single leaf but I'm not going to sit there and scrape and scrub every leaf and not only that I don't trust it I, I mean, don't... why why don't they eat raw salads in Asia? Really? No, they don't because of the parasite. Um, I guess as far as greens, I either have to cook them, you know, or I just have to buy the powder, or buy or buy greens from not here. Um, 
that's what I have to do because I, I, I know that it says somewhere where um, some different research articles say that it depends on how much you ingest. So, you know, if you keep doing it, I'm sure it would get, like for me, it would get a lot worse probably if I kept exposing myself to more and more parasites. I expect it would. Um, so I'm trying to avoid all that right now, any of that. Um, actually, I just ate some raspberries from Mexico, but I soaked them in, in wormwood. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I probably shouldn't eat anything from Mexico either. <laughs> I think you're um, you know, probably correct there, we, too. Think, a lot of times we think we're doing what's, what we can to make ourselves healthy, and then it turns out to be totally wrong. You know, it seems that way now, and it shouldn't be that way. Uh, people, I mean, God, this is ridiculous. Why can't we just... Why can't we just go out and pick our greens and not have to think and worry about all this crap? Exactly. It's bullshit. Why don't? Why can't there be like a huge eradication program where we, you know, just go out and get rid of all these fucking slugs that carry this disease? <laughs> you tell them, what girl. Where are they anyway? I don't know what good slugs are. Um, what What can I do? You know, I mean, I if I grow my own lettuce, sure, I could put slug baits out. And, but I don't really trust it. There's just too many. I mean, I see slugs all the time around here. There's just way too many slugs. Um, <laughs> I know exactly how you feel, darling, uh, with the slugs here. But anyway, guys, uh, there is some good news. Don't worry. In case you were all, uh, I want you to know that things, uh, shall we say, came out just fine in the end. So, uh, so Autumn, update us on the worms in your brain. It's been 10 days now since I was infected with the little uh, slug the, from the, with the rat lung disease worm, and I finally got rid of it. The, the pressure that I was having on my head is gone, and this morning... When I went to the bathroom, there was this long, thin, wormy-looking thing. It wasn't right. alive. It was dead. So there were definitely worms in me, and it came out in my poop this morning. The pressure has gone in my head, and I'll show you what I what I took. i uh not sure we want to see. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, Darla, we are so glad. You pooped out your brain worms, but I'm wondering, that was 10 years ago, and uh, so this is what, uh, so now, uh, I don't know where Autumn Oceans is living now, uh, Autumn, Autumn Oceans, I don't think she's still living in Hawaii, I don't know, darling, but uh, this is, uh, this is, I think, Autumn's latest video. Just to let you know, uh, if it's not slugs, it's bees. Take it away, Autumn. Now sprayed this bee with this peppermint oil and soap mixture. And then I stepped on it. And here it is. This damn thing is, is the bee that's been bothering me for the past couple weeks now. I think this is the one. It won't leave me alone. It will buzz around my face and act like it's going to attack me. And I don't know if this is a normal bee or not. It seemed like kind of, but it was way too aggressive actually to be way too aggressive to be a normal bee. It can't be a normal. I don't know what kind of bee, but it cannot be normal because that's not normal for a beagle. And you get up and you walk away and you try to get away and it follows you and oh, no, forget it. So I killed this about an hour ago. No more. I've seen no more bees. I hope that's it. I hope that was the only one son of a fucking bitch that was doing that. And it did. I squished it. And I'll squish it again. I hate you, 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 motherfucking piece of shit. Hate you, hate you, hate you. I hate that thing. And believe me, I don't hate bees. Bees leave me alone. I leave them alone. This motherfucker would not leave me alone, no matter what. I would have to run in the fucking house to escape it. I finally got it. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Uh, 
Anyway, uh, n now that uh, Dulcinea seems to have, uh, I don't know whatever happened to Dulcinea, but now I guess I can go back to thinking of uh, of Autumn Oceans. Uh, anyway, guys, so Autumn, you know where to find me, darling, uh, at Bugs in a Jar Farm. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm warning you, there, there's a hell of a lot of slugs at bugs in a jet slugs in a jar farm not uh too many bees though so uh come and be my doomer chick forever and uh we'll try to keep those bugs away anyway i am so happy to see that the doomer chicks of my past are alive and well that the ham bone harem uh <laughs> remains Anyway, I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to take Sancho. This is the coldest night Sancho Panza has ever felt in his entire life. We are in the teens. Get out there and uh, wash your lettuce while you still can. And uh, <laughs> do not move to Hawaii. Bye, guys.